Hello, good morning, and welcome to this Dawn Busters Taste Challenge. It's another blended whiskey Saturday. <laughs> what American blended whiskey are we ch challenging today? One against the other. Well, from 1830, not this bottle and not this brand, but this company, Bellows, William Bellows Company, blended American whiskey. They're owned by Lux Code today. It was sold off years ago. Jim Beam, the Beam Company got a hold of it, and then they sold it off to Luxco. All right. <laughs> but it was founded in 1830 Bellows, so it's one of the real old American companies. This is just the relic of it. And what's the relic? A brand of whiskey, straight bourbon, blended in this case. Also, um, gin, rum, blah, 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 down the line, Bellows. That's all it is, like Fleischmann's. Just the brand that survived, but the company is gone. Consolidation, that's the name of the game in beer, wine, and liquor. 20% uh, straight whiskey, 80% grain neutral spirits. And it's aged, I think there's an age statement on here. Oh, that was the club whiskey. Okay. Well, there is no age statement, which means that the youngest whiskey in here is no younger than four years old. Okay. I got it for $8.99 for a liter. All right. T.W. Samuels. Whoops. I keep forgetting to mute it. T.W. Samuels, Kentucky blended whiskey from 1844. Yes, T.W. Samuels, I know that's true. I checked the trademark information on both of these, and Bellows was 1830 receiving a trademark from the U.S. government, and T.W. Samuels in 1844. Now, there was a later T.W. Samuels who, who developed Four Roses whiskey, but not the same guy from 1844. All right. <laughs> And uh, it's Kentucky blended whiskey. Now, that means it's from Kentucky. Now, if it says Kentucky, uh, if you read the Tax and Trade Bureau website, you have to tell where the whiskey's from. Unless you put it in the name, then that means that's where it's distilled. So if you say Kentucky blended whiskey, that means it has to be distilled, aged, and bottled in Kentucky. Blended and bottled by T.W. Samuels Distillery, Bardstown, Nelson County, Kentucky. All right. So... They don't have to say distilled blended and bottled because if it says Kentucky whiskey, it means it's distilled in Kentucky. Get it? Okay. Registered U.S. Patent Office. Yeah. And, and they, they haven't really changed this label too much in all those years. This Ecro linen label. Now, if you look at the, there's the old, there's a label in a label. There's the label, T.W. Samuels, the old label on the label. <laughs> all right. So it's kind of strange the way it's like, it's saying it's doubled. They're having the old label and the new label. Every drop contains Kentucky whiskey. Yeah, 20% Kentucky whiskey. Okay, yeah. And 80% grain neutral spirits, unaged corn liquor. Odorless, flavorless. If you read the guidelines for blended scotch, it's the same principle because they'll say, well, it's like 80% column still whiskey, grain whiskey, they call it. But the flavors coming from those single malt scotches blended in the space side and all of this. Okay. And that's where the flavor is going to come from these, the 20% straight whiskeys. And this says age 36 months. Okay. So three year versus four year. Choice blended whiskey. I like how they say here, a choice blended whiskey that possesses the character and taste a connoisseur desires and expects from a great whiskey. So for $8.99 a bottle, $7.50, for $8.99 I got a whiskey that the connoisseur expects. Yeah, okay, I'm not too sure about that. All right, uh, so a liter versus $7.50. Now, T.W. Samuels is not popular in my town. Oh, when Dixie has it, the price never changes. It's always $8.99. Okay. But if you go to 
the Baton Rouge area, starting in St. James Parish up the river and then north of the lake. So kind of like that, what you'd say, the diocese of Baton Rouge. <laughs> you say diocese, that's Catholic church boundaries. I know, but in Louisiana, things tend to follow the, those patterns even today, even though the civil parishes are not the same as di the diocese, diocesan. Well, the, the, the civil parishes are the same as far as uh, church parishes, but you know what I mean? Uh, like we have, I said St. James Parish, so there's St. James Church, and St. Charles Parish, St. Charles Church, and St. John the Baptist Parish, St. John the Baptist Parish Church. And, uh, but then there's other, you know, as they got bigger, the parishes got bigger, and then they bought West Florida and added that to Louisiana. So those don't really, they're not church parishes, Baton Rouge, East Baton Rouge, that's Florida parishes. West Baton Rouge came from Louisiana. Then you got Tangibahoa, that's a Indian name. St. Tammany, there's no St. Tammany church that I'm aware of. Washington Parish named after George Washington. <laughs> you, you got me, Franklin. I mean, um, but that's the general pattern. All right, so let's go. I think the Bellows and the TW Samuels are gonna be nearly identical. They're both kind of semi-sweet corn basic products. I don't think there's anything in here that con connoisseurs are looking for, all right? You might say, well, there's people looking for cheap whiskey. Yeah, that's now, now we got it. Bellows, William Bellows. Now, uh, the Whiskey Scout showed a bottle on our hangout the other night, and but he had the straight whiskey. I've not seen the straight whiskey, come to, uh, bourbon for Bellows. And I'll look around too. T.W. Sam's, do they make a straight bourbon? Yes, they do. I think there's also a bottle in Bond. I hadn't seen either one. All I've seen is the blended. Go to other states, you might not see the blended, but you'll see the straight. But that's just, that's it. You know, they're both yellow labels, so all right. One's from Kentucky, one's from, uh, they say bottled in Missouri, and it says American, and I gotta look for these key words, American blended whiskey. Ah, you say, ah, that's telling where it's distilled. That's right, it's distilled somewhere in America. Uh, and almost assuredly that's Lawrenceburg, Indiana at the old Seagram's distillery, because that's the big mass producer. They did the, the macro, the middle crow, and the micro. A lot of craft, craft whiskeys are produced there at this mass production facility. Uh, G and JK said, I thought we were on Canadian. No, we were, but that, that, that was closed out for the time being. Now we're doing American blended. Then it will be, um, Scotch, Inverhouse Green Plaid. Heard some good things about it. Is it exotic and world class? I don't know. Do you think it's exotic and world class for eleven ninety nine a bottle? Something's telling me it's not. Could it be serviceable or tolerable? Yeah. Now you might observe this channel and say, "Man, you you review all of these cheap budget brand." Canadian whiskeys, American blended whiskeys, Scotch whiskeys, Cana uh, you know, Canadian blended whiskeys, rum. What's up with all of that? What do you think? You're doing something great? No, I never said that. Um, I never once said, oh, these are just fabulous, you know, high brow products. I never said that, you know. I know what I'm dealing with. I'm not stupid. It's like a lot of beers. There'll be cheap beers, you know, I'll review them. And then I did all these flavored. I got two more flavored beers coming up. I don't even really like those. They taste like candy. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I know what I'm dealing with when I'm dealing with it. And some people, they act like they're commentators. You know, they're making a comment. They're not really a commentator. They're just a troll. You know, they know what I'm doing and they know that I know what I'm doing. So they'll say, oh, I can't believe you're doing that. Uh, you know, blah. it's like, you know, I'm doing a cheap whiskey or beer, and you know that I'm aware of that. And you just you just wanna make a negative comment. You're like the troll under the bridge, the people cross the bridge and you're saying, 
you know, you know what you're doing and then you'll, I get some of these same characters show up on other channels. I'll make a comment like, hey, that's a pretty good beer. I thought it was all right. Y'all didn't like it, but I thought it was pretty good. Oh, and that figures you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, it's like, why are you worried about what I say, you know? Go start your own video channel. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I have an alias. I have to hide behind that. But I'm very brave, very extremely brave hiding behind that alias. I'll show you. I'll show you all. Okay. And I, I, I get a kick out of that because this people is obsessed, you know, like with what? Do I have that much power? Like that, that song from 1995. The illusion of power that's a great title the illusion of power why should i have so much power i don't have any that's an illusion so don't let a, a chimera you know what i'm saying don't let a chimera or a, ma a mirage don't let a vapor a shadow of importance control your life i'm not that important i should not be the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning and the last thing you think about when you go to sleep Why should I have so much power? I'm not a megalomaniac. I'm not even a micromaniac. Okay. Well, smells like American blended whiskey. You know what I'm saying? You say you mean like a bunch of alcohol, grain alcohol burn. Yeah, that's right. A little bit of straight whiskey. Yeah. An odd melon note yes <clears throat> you'll get these exotic off the wall aromas and flavors with these things i can open my eyes now because i didn't find the appearance was that different i know about the value to quality ratio i search the best too yes and i have some really good blend i have shivas regal that's a obviously you know just a mid-range but it's a premium product, you know, it's not like. Ticonderoga distillery. Imported scotch whiskey for six ninety nine a liter, you know what I'm talking about? Some crazy name you never heard of. And then it tastes like, oh, wow, it's kind of off. But yeah. This one. Um, but OK, so if I want to review a bunch of cheap whiskey, gin, rum, wine, beer. So what? Like, why does that matter? Like, why is that a big deal? This one is a little more spicy and pungent and spicy, like there's more rye or something. Hmm. It's a little fuller in the nose, which is making me think it's older, been in the wood longer. So like uh, you dig like it might be bellows. I like I like it. That's why I watch. Sorry, I don't try to troll. I just like to comment. No, you're not a troll. You're just a good comment. You make good comments, intelligent comments. Like you're not. You don't have some mad axe to grind, G and J K. Okay, obviously that's not your real name. Your mo your mother didn't name you G and J K. Okay, fair enough. You're using a scene from uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh, I'm sorry, The Body Snatchers from 1979. Huh. Fine. I chose to use my real name and my real face on this channel. You know, I, I didn't have to, could have had, could be wearing a mask, you know, a Mardi Gras mask or whatever, but. I make comments on people's channels, but then they're always kind hearted and sensible. Like I don't like stalk them and worry about them, you know. Special Kate, do I always agree with their reviews? No, I do not. Do I think they make intelligent, I mean, they clown and stuff like I do, but do they make well thought out uh, content, yes. But I don't say, well, I, I don't agree with them this time, so I'm going to show them. I'll show you. I'll show you all. You know, I don't do it, but you say, yeah, but you keep forgetting you're not mad. You're not insane. You're not sick. You're not, you don't have a personality disorder. Right. 
Got to remember, I fear the internet for my real name. It's a good point. And, you know, like Ruku, he wears a mask and he does, I'm sure his name is not Ruku. But he doesn't, he's not a jerk. He doesn't go around saying, let me tell you something. I'll show you, you know, I'm going to set you straight. You know, good so-and-so. I'll show you. And he doesn't do it 30 times a day, 20 days a week, you know. You know, and I say, well, Ruku, why do you have such an attitude? What's your problem? What's your hang up, dude? He And he'll tell me, oh, you know, he doesn't do that. He's not going to say, well, I can't show my face. I have an important government job and I, I can't. I, uh, it can't be known that I do these comments or drink alcohol, you see. I've had people tell me that. Well, it's like, well, why don't you get lost? You know what I mean? You know, buzz off. Scram. If somebody invited me to a party, all right, they say, hey, come to my party. Okay, I went. And they played music I didn't like. I'm thinking, oh, I don't like that music. Sound like a buzzsaw. And, and a bunch of sheet metal being pounded. I'm not going to sit there and tell them, well, I'm going to tell you something. I don't like this music. Uh, you need to play more uh, music according to what I like. They would say, well, who the hell are you? You were invited. You didn't have to be over here. Well, I'm here and I want you to change it. You know, that's that would show a level of demented thinking, you know. And then I went around telling everybody, you know, they have a party and they play um Al Green, that's all they play. Al Green, I mean, you know, and they play that album from 1982 when he's got the sweater on and it makes me so angry. I don't want any of you guys to go to their party. I was like, well, you went and you didn't even have to stay, but you decided that you didn't like their music. What's up? I love watching your beer reviews. You try Budweiser Copper Lager yet, says John Bear. Oh, yes, and I liked it a lot. And now there's the new Discovery Red Lager. Winnie wins. I really like Jameson's Irish whiskey. Cheap and cheerful. My daughter loves that stuff. All right. This tastes like uh, <laughs> there is rye in it. You say, but is it good rye? I wouldn't go that far. Um. It does have a strange underlying melon flavor. And you know, I've said this many times, Heaven Hill blended whiskeys have this strange underlying melon flavor. I don't really like it. Now I think Sazerac makes better blended whiskey. And, um, you know, I mean, and even Jim Beam, you know, Beam makes it. They make blended whiskey like Kessler's and stuff, but they don't even show it on their website now. They've updated their website. They don't show the blended Canadian whiskeys, the cheap ones like the Windsor Canadian. Oh, no. It's like, oh, let's redo our website. We're too good for all that cheap stuff. Well, hell, you make it. You're not too good to take the people's money, but you can't show it on your website because you're embarrassed. Oh, okay. Does Anheuser-Busch make a lot of cheap malt liquor? Yeah. Are they embarrassed to show it on their website? No, they're not. No, I mean, I'm not saying that they showcase it on the brewery tour. You know, you might say, hey, what's that stuff over there? Oh, well, uh, let's let's go look down the hall here. You know, that that's their King Cobra production day. You know, uh, have you done a review on? Oh, I don't understand the stigma against the cheap stuff, says G and JK. I know it's some kind of fanaticism out there in the internet world, some kind of real weird fanaticism, like, like there's some kind of unwritten rule. You know how in baseball they have these unwritten rules and then these people are all hung up on it, you know? And you said, well, that's not a rule. If you want to admire your home run and throw the bat down, I mean, yeah, you're showing up the pitch or whatever, but that's not a rule. And you say, I'll retaliate. I'll show you. I'm going to hit you next time you come up. What's well, not a rule? I mean, you you made a bad pitch, so you hit a home run. So why don't you grow up and like maybe be a better pitcher? Maybe you wouldn't have a, a 6.38 ERA, you know? Or oh look, they bunted on a perfect game. Well, that's their that's their purview. I mean, it's 
not really nice, but uh, you know, hey, that's what they want to do. They their their job is to score, and your job is to win. And you got all these little uh, idiosyncratic things in baseball, and these records they gotta have, you know. So it's kind of like this whiskey, beer, beer, wine, and liquor reviews. You got these people have these real bad hangups, you know. And okay, it's cheap. It exists. Like big deal, you know. Oh, oh no, you can't review that. What I can review anything I want. Now there's some video review channels, beer review. They do a good job, and he only reviews the best. I mean, if it ain't twelve dollars a bottle, he ain't reviewing it. I'm talking about a twelve ounce bottle. Now, do I have a hang up about that? Do it, does that bother me? I mean, why would it bother me? I don't even care. Most of these obscure beers I've never heard of, and he'll say, "Oh, those are great. This is great. Ah, this is pretty good." You know, okay. Well, I mean, you know, it's fine. Why do I'm not worried about that? And I've had people tell me, "Well, you know, he reviews." Okay, I know I get his channel. I understand his channel. You had to tell me that? Like I didn't know that. Once again, I don't care. It's good. I'm I'm very happy that he reviews $13 bottles of beer and they're all A plus and world class. And you know, hey, he might look at what I review and say, oh Lord, you know, but okay, I that's we're not friends. I mean, we're friends on Facebook, but that doesn't mean anything, you know. It's like I don't even know. You say, well, you got 700 and some friends on Facebook. Yeah, 90% of these people, I don't know who they are. I've never met them. I never will meet them. I mean, it's it's nice. I don't know them, you know? They could be my friends as long as they don't bother me, you know? I had problems with the botherers, you know? Hey, what's up, dude? It's like, oh, Lord. Uh, nothing. I got stuff to do. What's up with you? Just chilling. Yeah, I know that's probably all you do. Cheers, Ron, says Master Yorni. Nice beard and development in the room. Oh, all right, Master. Well, I'm not going to. Let's watch some of these comments now. Yeah, I'm talking heavy. You know what I'm saying? I got to delete some comments because they're saying, make sure you don't allow inappropriate comments on your channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, just restate it without the language. And would I ever buy either one of these on purpose? Are you crazy? No. First of all, I would never even buy whiskey on purpose. Do you hear what I'm trying to tell you? I try just to see what they taste like. All right. On the real, I'm not really even a liquor drinker. If I wasn't doing reviews, I would never drink it. I mean, that's the truth. I mean, if I was at somebody's house, I would taste it, but I wouldn't drink it to drink. You know what I'm saying? Like never in my life, ever in my life do I say, oh man, it was a hard day at work. I need some whiskey. I never think that. I, I was just curious about it. Like say, oh, everybody's talking about whiskey this, whiskey that, gin this, gin that, rum this, rum that. I said, oh, well, you know, I'll try it, you know, brandy. But to say I'm interested in drinking it, uh-uh. I'm now beer, yeah, I'll admit that. I'll look forward to that, you know. But um the other stuff I'm really not into it, you know. Is it sun outside? Because we have a lot of it here. Yeah, it's gonna be mm, it's gonna be partly sunny, but it's gonna be hot. It's gonna it's getting hot, y'all. It's still warm, but it's getting hot. All right, I gotta close this out. Which one tastes better? Uh this one is okay it's kind of woody kind of spicy kind of bland kind of weird melon this one's the same way but it seems like it has a little more age on it and it doesn't have that strange melon flavor oh uh, yeah so like um i think this is the bellows and i think that's the tw samuels the bellows is a little bit better i think the extra year gives it a a, a victory you know no kind of great victory and like I say, I wouldn't buy them, but that's that, that that's a meaningless statement. That's a meaning. It's it's meaningless for me to say I wouldn't buy them because I I don't buy any whiskey to drink. I just buy them to taste challenge. But you say, well, what about in theory? Let's just say in theory, if you did drink whiskey every day, on purpose just to drink, would you buy either one of these? Uh, heck no. I'd buy scotch, and it would be a pretty good scotch, you know. So if i did in fact drink whiskey every day on purpose but i don't but if i did it would be that it'd be something like at least like uh 
you know, like Shivas Regal or something like that, or uh, J and B, something like that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I'm going to say this is this is the Heaven Hill, the uh, T.W. Samuels Heaven Hill. Yep, T.W.S. T.W. Samuels. There you go. And it's it's inferior to the Bellows, not greatly inferior, but a little bit worse. Bellows is better. So hey, hey, hey. all right. Well, join us tomorrow morning when we plan to review Bellows versus Kentucky Gold. And I think Bellows is going to destroy Kentucky Gold. I really do. That's going to be an embarrassment. Not for me, for Kentucky Gold and Heaven Hill for putting perpetuating that onto our buying public. Thanks for watching this video production.